Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today we have Kage, Loot, and special guest Da Boy. And today we are talking about putting together. We had a post by Macho Man, who um, is a fun person to argue with. I really enjoy arguing with him because he does take an opposing view to my thoughts quite regularly. But he actually has very intelligent um, thoughts to back up his his uh, points, arguments, his points. So. Anyway, he made a suggestion when we were talking about, I can't remember what it was, but he was saying that on our legendary tier listings, we should list characters, like rank them, especially for like newer players, so know who to concentrate on. Because sometimes you think, especially early on, a character seems like Yellow Leonard Sinatra is a good example of this. He seems like he's a great character until you're in the upper tiers and you realize, wow, he stinks. So he thought, he thought maybe we should do like a 1 to 10 listing. So we started talking about that in line chat or uh, the chat that we have for our alliance and how we would want to rank those and kind of get a bunch of people's views. So we had a lot of debate on what should go into that, how we would rank them. Um, and so we're decided we'll bring it on a podcast and actually discuss kind of our thoughts on it. Du Bois had an interesting thought on how he would do it. And if you want to talk through that, Du Bois. Yeah, and I think you, you, you kind of rate rate the tunes uh based off of like an early a mid and a late game point of view in the early in the early levels um it, it's good for to, to make it so that the players in the early levels focus on tunes that are are good for that but also can progress further tunes like like Hal Jordan uh Hal Jordan especially he's, now. He's great especially now but like he's he's a tune that's that's great for keeping your team alive. He bring, with the shields, he brings the utility with the call assist. Um, great tune. And he progresses easy to well farm as well. well. Easy to farm as well. And that's part of the other thing is availability, right? Because a lot of new players they're not going to have access to the Larkleys or the Wonder Girl or the Donna Troy, um, the Trosses, those, those types of of tunes for 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 a while because they're not readily farmable right um but tunes like the the hal jordan and the you know harley quinn like those are two tunes that you would probably give like an s tier rating for early early level players because they can level them up they're they're good through the whole game and that they'll benefit them early mid and late Um, well it's also well i just want to add a point but um but also Tunes that'll help you teach help teach uh, game fundamentals too. Um, so maybe a character like Mirror Master or Mary, those aren't very beginner friendly. I don't. I wouldn't think uh, because right. you have to because you have to sit down and think about okay, well, how am I going to build around this character? And yeah, they might be good, but it's not someone who you can just learn on the fly like you can with Harley Quinn or Hal Jordan. Mhm. Mhm. And 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 like. You know, Richard Mail was saying earlier, <laughs> uh, tunes like Yellow Lantern Sinestro. I remember when I first started playing the game, I was like, dude, this guy is good. And when I got my, my younger brother to start playing the game, he's like, okay, so I should focus on, on tunes like Yellow Lantern Sinestro. And I was like, no, 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 because he's really bad after a certain point in the game. Like, you will never use him again. Um, and so I think the tier listing, a tier listing, and then Kage, this is what I was kind of talking about. The tier listing is different from like a scaling listing, right? So you, 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 you list a scale and then you put a tier on that scale. So like, okay, Hal Jordan, Hal Harley Quinn, those are S tier tunes on the scale because they scale from early to late. Whereas tunes, um, I'm trying to think of another one, like Cyborg. That's He's a good tune that you can... You, you could put him probably in like a B tier because he's good in the early game. His AI is dumb, but maybe with the smartened AI, he might be better. But um, he's good in the early game because he does the damage that gets you through those heroic nodes. Uh, he's good in the mid game because he still does that damage to get you leveling up. But then once you start getting into the, like the higher end PVP and the, you know, the end game content, eh, he's not he's not as good. Right. We can agree on that. Yeah, to my problem, my only issue with that is that, so like, let's say Black, let's take Black Adam as an example. 
he's not easily farmable. I mean, right now he kind of is, but probably after the next month, he most likely won't be. But if you have the opportunity to get him, you need to go out and get him. Right. So I'm almost oh, thinking sure. we need to have like a two pronged. So you need to have like a like a like a a tiered scale with you know the tunes that are necessary we requ- necessarily required at any given time that they're available. Tunes like Black Adam. Tunes well, that's like what I mean. Bar you could Bruce. rank them so these people could pick and choose. So for example, like right, like Wonder Girl. I mean, not Wonder Girl. Um, well, she would be an example too. But like Harley Quinn. Power Girl, Donna Troy, all three I would consider S tune, but you don't need all three necessarily. I mean, you want, right. you would want all three, but you don't necessarily need them. So I'm, I'm debating, like, I like your idea of like early, mid, late, and then maybe if you just, you know, or never, you know, or something, kind of, right? You know, right. just if like you have right excess there. gems and early, mid, late, and then there should be a tier that's yeah. That's all to itself, the god tier. Yeah, we could have S. You know, tier. S tier would be like the type, tippy top, and then have A, B, C, D, F. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think maybe maybe even having them side by side together, right? Like having yeah. your your tier listing, and then having that that scale so that. And, and I think this is more. This would more be geared towards newer players, right? Because yeah. players that have been around a while, they kind of know what. Well, they're Well, we doing could even have, have like a. It doesn't even have to necessarily be. Yeah, just have. Uh, you know, this is a character you want to work on early, like Red Robin. You definitely want to work on him early if you can get him. Right. If you can get your hands on him, get him. Um, but while you're waiting for him, work on these tunes, right? And then those new players, they can see the tier listing. They can say like. Oh, okay. Hal Jordan is like an A tier tune right now. I'm gonna focus on 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 upgrading my my Hal Jordan, right? Um, Harley Quinn, she's on every team. She's she's all over the place. Siege, not Siege, Wraith. Yeah, players she, I mean, she's, in, she's in. Yeah, Harley Quinn is awesome. She's in top tier, man. Yeah. yeah, and she's probably one of the easier ones to farm. So like that is that, that that that's where I was taking it really yeah, was, that makes was sense. taking the tier listing and scaling it over a line instead of like on a grade. Um, but I, what you're saying with the grade and the line is 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 very what I think is perfect. What about you, Lou? What are your thoughts? I think it it sounds super complicated the way we were just talking about it. Um, we would need to hire we, someone to like make an infographic on this. I, I was. It's funny you just said that. I was going to say I think we it we really need like to make sure that when whenever we put this together, that it's well documented in a way that it it makes sense. To My people. original thought was to put it with the legendary order page, just to kind of keep it all in one place, so they would say. They look for a legendary order, it would have their legendary order, and then it would have their tier ranking, and then, you know, some other, like, early, mid, late, that would be, like, if you're a newer player, basically, like, some kind of icon, or some kind of, you know, ranking that Mm -hmm. says, if I'm a new player, start farming this guy, because he'll be great for my team. Like Hal Jordan, for example. Mm Mm-hmm. And you know, we could also example. split it up into farmable and not farmable. True. Yeah, but the thing is, is the character every month different characters become farmable. So I don't want to limit it to that necessarily, because you can just see, well, hey, like, this is a, a yeah. Good then maybe we shouldn't do that at all. I kind of yeah, like the. Go ahead. I like the early mid or early late. Like, like we know, for example, that. Um, Mirror Master, well, Mirror Master isn't necessarily a good example. I would say more like Catwoman. She's a very good character, but not somebody that's really essential early. Mm-hmm. She's more of a, you want to kind of fit her into other teams type of thing. I think she's mid to late. Uh, yeah, I would say like a mid-tier character. Yeah, because you're not, uh, beginner players aren't really dealing with awareness. They're not dealing with huge buff stacks. You need to purge them all at once. Yeah, you're going to want to get a different character that can just handle that. Like a Wonder Girl, I would say, is early if you can get her. Because she does so much. Right. So Wonder Girl. That, 
it's characters that can I mean even Black Adam I wouldn't list him as an early tier character I would list him more as a mid tier character because he can carry a team but he isn't essential for you to win matches no and I don't think beginner players are going to have the tools to protect him to long enough to right. you know, have him do his magic and he needs to be legendary 5 and you know close to ma- not necessarily legendary 5 but you want him a high legendary you want him a high level to shell out the damage to be worth it and plus, we need to start talking about, like, what's a grade of viability? Like, some characters are viable at L1. Yeah. So I guess that, that would true. kind of play in the early mid-tier. That, this list is going to be complicated. <laughs> so. And we have, 100, we have 100 characters on the roster, and it's always changing. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the Legendary Order list was a big undertaking, but once I got it done, it was easy. And like, now it's easy to manage and maintain. Yeah, you just a- so. edit it as, as things change. Yeah, and I think we could do the same thing with this. Well, I think what we could do is do a live stream, right? And have, like, our audience just kind of, like, discuss with us while we just, like, put this tier list together I think live. that would be a little difficult because there's 100 <laughs> characters. That's why I think, that's why I wanted to do this podcast, talk through it, and then let people um, just kind of comment, comment on how they want to see yeah, it. Yeah, that's wanna... what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Crowdsource it. Let's bring in some, I, let other people, like, come up with some ideas, too. Yeah, because a lot of owls aren't mid-tier players anymore they're late game players so we don't we have no idea what's going on with gear 10 and below land yeah yeah so we, we don't we don't know we can do our best <laughs> guess let people chime in but i also you know so there's a lot of people that say oh this character is trash but they've never used them so mm. like miller calling Mar- mary trash like what exactly i wouldn't say she's um i mean she's not a i wouldn't even say she's a c character i would put her as a b level character that would be she's probably not late. terrible. Yeah, she's, she's not the best, but she's not bad either. I do like the mid. I think the early, mid, late, and then you know we. I don't know what that. There's a fourth tier that just like that character needs a rework. You know the super. Just do not touch. Yeah. yeah, just just early, mid. Well, okay, and and don't touch. I think Sinestro could be a good early character because no. when you get that. No, when you get that AOE cooldown, you can just spam it in PvE just to farm your green materials, and then. But I would say you know, no because you don't want to waste resources. If you're, if you're, say you're a free-to-play player, would you have rather wasted your resources on him or right wasted your resources on an AOE with Castaway Green Arrow? Right. Ah, uh, well, yeah. Then that's what would be the point of this is because you may take him all the way to gear ten, and you're like, oh man, now I realize he stinks when I could have been working on this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could even do early, mid-tier, and I'll, I'll just call the last tier flush with gems. <laughs> so. flush, flush with gems. <laughs> well, if tier. You're, if you're bored and you just want to upgrade yeah, someone, I mean, yeah. That's, you know, that's what, you know, I like messing around with some of the weird, crappy characters every now and again just for fun. Yeah, if you don't, yeah. you don't sleep for a couple days and you max out a character, who cares? Yeah, there's a guy on Siege, you know, top 100 right now. He's got blue beta lead. Freaking loser. <laughs> oh, my. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, check check top 100 in Siege, man. Some loser's running blue beetle. Look at him. <clears throat> He's got a full level 80 roster, freaking whale. <laughs> it's not full level 80. I got I got Actually, blue beetle's going 80 tonight. <laughs> oh, my. Are you... Richard Mal, are you running Blue Beetle lead? <laughs> uh, that's why I told Prim to look at his loss log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Prim. I got Now I'm curious. I'm, I'm taking a little look here. A little look-see. What? <laughs> Did it? You're crazy. <laughs> This scene has been mighty entertaining. It's a lot more fun when you're not trying hard. You're using, oh my god, you nuts! The funny thing is, it's like a bait team. It is. <laughs> but the that's good thing the is, this thing is about siege. It's like it doesn't matter if they're a bait team or not. You still got to fight them. Yep. You have to. You have to. <laughs> I can't you wait to, to see losses on five, this one. Five, ten, fifteen siege energy per fight. I'd probably just run this all blues. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a total blue fight. You know, I ran across a team uh, a couple 
I think it was like yesterday or the day before, and it was Hal Lead with Star Sapphire, Wonder Girl, and Donna Troy. And that team was hard. Yep. In the, in the siege. Yeah, they're buffing was, all over the place. Everyone's getting awareness. Well, it was like Wonder Girl opened with her buff. Everybody got men's and extra awareness. And it was like, what just happened to my game? <laughs> I've actually beat... I've won six matches with that Blue Beetle team so far. But I lost one because they had um, Hard Gun Deadshot, Etrigan, Black Adam. And I can't remember who the fourth was. And Black Adam got a kill. And I... It, you know how that goes. And that was, that that was game it. over. I got cocky. I knew I shouldn't have used that team for that one. Hey, it happens to the best of us. But I only care. But I only went top 60, so I don't care. I'm struggling this siege. I don't know why. I guess I'm getting too cocky. I'm not doing well at all. Dude, you're like top 13. Yeah, but dude, I bought energy every day. <laughs> I bought energy a fair amount. You don't even know, man. I've lost so many times. Like, I, all of a sudden, freaking Jay Garrick just wrecked my team. <laughs> and, like, I was like, what the hell is going on? He one shot been... Star Sapphire. He one shot Adam Scott. And that was it. I'm you haven't dead. lost a match, have you, Boy? I, I luckily my RNG has been has been pretty good. I haven't lost a match yet. Have you lost any characters? I know you had to. Lose. I have. Okay. I've lost Star Sapphire three times. Man, Star Sapphire, man, she's been losing on my team too. Like, Hard Gun Deadshot just whiffs her, and I'm like, I lose her a lot too. And yeah, I yeah, and I don't know if you notice this, but Deadshot now he will snipe you on turn one. It it does, those AI move. changes are de- like they do a lot of different stuff. It's it's annoying that it happened right now when I'm trying <laughs> to make a push. Yeah, good. the other day, the other day I saw the AI literally red rot, red rot, red robin, true sight to dead shot, sniped my one in the girl. I was like, they're like, learning. What just happened? They're learning. Is this it live? It sounds live to me PvP? like they take some of our player feedback or what they're watching us do and their input and they're putting that into the algorithm i think they just did it randomized because this seems like it's all over the place which is actually no, scarier in my opinion that are like yeah really it's not it's not, not cool, cool anymore i'm so glad i rebirthed my um uh donna troy because having her at rb2 has been a lifesaver i lost to you i think yesterday with yeah, that you, rebirth, Donna Troy. Yeah, isn't yeah, that, that when I started you cursing you out? Yeah, that was yeah, that was the that Richard Mille episode. That was yeah, that, that was the team. That was the one. And you were that it was, was the one. It was damage. Donna Troy that you were the most upset about. <laughs> I couldn't even hurt her. <laughs> I couldn't well, damage her. You and Chrono Monkey would... should be uh, talk hanging out. <laughs> 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 Serves me right for bringing a team of four blues. I it was like. <laughs> I was dead. I, sh- I shouldn't have even tried. We're getting way off track here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, on track, when we do the Alan Scott episode, I keep forgetting to message you, Lord Mulliton. We want to have you on for that one. You gotta. I know you're as big of a Lantern fan as the boy, so. We... Oh, yeah. So, so if you're listening to this, send me a message if I haven't sent you one yet. Um, but yeah, kids. Tier list. Tier list. <laughs> <laughs> we're only slightly off topic. Well, I think that's no, just because the topic list. we're talking about is so difficult to implement. Yeah. yeah. The level of difficulty means. is high. Yeah, and then, like, characters are like, okay, he's good just because he can carry a team, or this guy is good because he has good synergy with such and such, or... Well, I think know. to be on S tier, you have to be able to be plug and play. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like so that's that, like... You know, you're at your I games. would agree with that. Plug and play, universal, just you can flat out them. amazing. Yeah, easy anytime. to learn. Easy, yeah, easy to learn. You know, carries people. I guess. Yeah, it, it, a character that can a take over a match, b. You know, can pretty much slot into just about any team. That would Sounds be like an make it better. 
Yeah. So, so I would say that's a small 13. group. It's probably like seven or eight characters total. Um, so off the top of my head, I'd probably say Black Adam, Wonder Girl, uh, Donna Troy. MJ, Power Girl. Bane? No. Swamp Thing? Bane is no, not, not Bane. Lark, please, I think you could put in there. I wouldn't say he's S tier. Uh, I would say he's what? A. He's definitely A, but not S tier. He, he's, yeah, he... Okay, between I've, I've lost him quite a few times in Siege. Mm. Okay, between I don't know, Red Lex and Deadshot Hired Gun. I'd put A-tier? Deadshot Hired Gun actually as S tier because he, he is integral to teams. Mm-hmm. He can make he can make a crap tune look really good. Yeah, I would, I I would actually Lex put him. Is, is an A though. I think he's, he's an so, A. He's Definitely so an a, good, but he's not an S. Uh. Just going running through my roster here. Red Robin, I'd put an S tier because. He how about just... how about Deathstroke, man? No. <laughs> Red Robin is like definitely S tier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Red Robin, Constantine. No. Nah. No. He's maybe he's an A, but he's. So we. I can't so stand I, that. I dude. think I think we can we can have we have a good idea yeah. of what a good character is. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be harder, uh, like the B and C. It's a, the determining who's B and who's C. Yeah, because that's a lot of gray area. I don't even think like, we need a D. Like D, D. Basically, you don't. Or we don't need an F necessarily. Like there's. Yeah. Well, maybe. So what are we maybe like go the top S the, through D. Yeah. And Blue Beetles and D. Or then we just do. Why don't we just do A through F? Then A can be S tier. Yeah, we can do that. I think S is just so well recognized. Okay. All right, so we'll do S. Then S, S here. A, B, C, D. Well, yeah, that's the easy part. Yeah, yeah you're right. The F tier is like your Blue Beetles and Sinestros. Well, we even, that's just D because you can make them work on certain teams. Kind of. Well, I guess there could be an F tier for like the bottom five. Like Jay Garrett. Just yeah, but throw, you just guys throw in our E. <laughs> <laughs> just throw in our uh, top ten worst tune list. You know. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put Arcus in. F tier. <laughs> not Flash. Yeah, he's not Definitely bad. Definitely not Flash anymore. Um, Flash is good. Yeah. I think Flash is a good B character. Yeah. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I'd say Flash is B. I think we could come to a... So I'll, I'll put together a list. I'll send it out. Then we can all debate it. And then... Atrocitus. Is he A tier anymore? I feel like he got nerfed. He, he doesn't revive, he, but even without the revive, I'd still list him still, as an A character. Yeah, I agree with that. A, B tier? I don't know. Yeah, let the, we'll let the community decide. But Batgirl? Batgirl's a strong A character. No, I'd say she's probably closer to S. I, she's either A or S. I think in my she, opinion. She's got a lot going on in her case. She's, no she's a no-miss purge. She's got a leadership that... You yeah, know, but once you use her main ability, and if you smash into like Power Girl, she doesn't do a whole lot after that for a while. Okay, now we're just throwing in random variables in there. Like, well, I'm oh, just well, that, if... that is majority of matches have a taunter. So she smashes into Donna Troy, she smashes into Harley Quinn, she smashes into Power Girl. Then after that, she doesn't serve a lot of purpose. If there's no taunter, or she has awareness somehow. Then she's great. But um, without well, that, that, that goes with is... That's why I wouldn't put her S. That's a, she's still an A class character, but she's not an S. But you could say the same about Black Adam. He uh, run him no, into uh, Black oh, Adam. Harley. Can he can remove all the buffs. Well, I actually with, think Hulk over Kaga him. is now an S tier character again. Oh yeah, he is. I agree with. I that. think he's he used to be a long time ago. Yeah, then he stopped, and now he's back. I, I think he's back, and I think he's back in a big way. Yeah. But why wouldn't why would you put say because you got a no miss purge? That's big. That is true. She's pretty plug and play. You, she's Ooh. good as a leader and non leader. Batgirl. She doesn't We're have a Bat- no miss purge. What are you talking about? Yeah, she does. A no miss yes, purge. Yes, she does. It's her say cheese. It's called. Oh, no, Batgirl. It's I thought you said Batwoman. I'm sorry. No, we're talking Batgirl yeah. leader. Okay, that's where I w- I was confused. Yeah, Batgirl's S tier. Yeah, I was like, why would you disagree with me on that, man? I was talking. <laughs> yeah, I was talking. I think you. My for some reason was thinking Batwoman. No, Batwoman. Yeah, strong A, Maybe high B. B. Yeah. That's why I when was you were saying say go B. into a taunter, I was like. What are you talking about? Yeah, you can re- yeah, she can remove the time. What? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? I can remove a time. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, there's a, probably a good eight to ten characters. 
that fall into that class? Ega, uh, A tier, maybe? Pot? A tier. And even, like, Brainiac's a tough one. I'd probably put him in A tier. He's borderline mm -hmm. S tier. Hal right, Jordan so is a tough one for me. My Hal least Jordan favorite a character one. a few months ago was Penguin. Yeah. And he is now one of my favorite characters. How oh would you God. slot him in? What what would you give him? I'd give him. Oh a my beer. god, I I ran into a team last night. It was Hal Jordan, Star Sapphire, Penguin, and it was another Shielder. I can't remember who it was. I think doesn't matter. It took me a good thirty minutes to take that team down because I did not <laughs> I did not plan properly. Yeah, but the only thing minutes. is, Peng I like Penguin a lot, but he does go down really fast to Power Girl and any of the high damage, special damage characters. He goes down a no, little fast in my mind. Starfire's not, Starfire's not one-shotting him. I can one-shot him with my Rebirth Starfire. Rebirth, Ooh. like, five, She's sure. Rebirth one, and I'll, I'll show you a video of uh, one-shotting at level 80. So what would you make him? Is he an A? I would, I would personally put him a B. But... You personally put him a B? Yeah. I don't know. It's tough, because if, uh, if his basic work correctly um, if it wasn't bugged because it says always steal two buffs but it misses it doesn't yeah, yeah it doesn't always do that yeah. so I feel like we should raise this as a ticket but there's anyway a there's a couple characters that have bug issues that, but I think there's a, they're trying to get I think they're trying to get raids out and then now we got this login issue that's going on that hopefully is resolved by the time you hear this um, so I, they've had a few distractions so I'm hoping this doesn't delay raids anymore so if it means leaving a couple characters bugged for a little bit, I'm okay with that. Right, but going back, going back to Penguin, if he if his thing was no miss and always stealing buffs, um, I'd probably put him in a strong A character. But I think he's a high B. Yeah, borderline. I think, yeah, I mean, I don't want to go. I don't want to convolute it as much as doing like B plus B minus. But yeah, <laughs> there's gonna yeah, be some yeah, B's that are more B than others. Oh, yeah. so like Roz is totally S tier then, right? Yeah. I mean, oh <laughs> lord. Definitely. But I think we'll have a follow up episode. We'll put together this list over the next couple weeks, and then we'll do a follow up episode to discuss it and argue about it. I'm sure we'll have differing opinions. So. Yeah. So we just want our viewers just to you know give us feedback. What do you, who do you think? How would you rank you know these players? And and also give us you know what your gear le gear level is. Um, well, because... I wouldn't say don't send us giant lists right now. Let us pimp out the let's put out a list. You can tell us how you want to see us rank them. So let's worry about that part first. And yeah, then the when structure. We, when we do the list, then you can tell us we're crazy or we have characters too high or too low, which I'm sure it's going to be. Uh, I can't wait for Doombox to see it. So <laughs> If we don't have Donna Troy, World's Greatest Detective, AW Iron Lash, Flash. and Iron Flash as S tier, then we're probably yeah. going to... Incorrect. We're going to get hate mail. <laughs> hate mail. There you go. Oh, man. All right, guys, so it's starting to get late, so let's wrap this up. I think uh, this episode's been 30 minutes already, so that's plenty. We've been on tangents on different directions. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll rediscuss this, litigate this topic once we have a list. All right, guys. All right, guys. Sounds good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Thanks. we'll definitely have you on for the Alan Scott True Reveal. And if you're not a Patreon already, reveal. make sure you check out our Become a patron. It's only a dollar to become a patron, and you can get our Alan Scott Early Thoughts episode, which we have a lot to say, because uh, some crazy man named Du Bois took him to Legendary 1 with the $25 packs. So <laughs> What? Freaking whales, man. Yeah. God. <laughs> Can't stand them. Yeah. Right, Ruining the game for us. All I know is I need 46,000 gems for Black Adam tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Me too. I think I'm going to do it. There you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy whales. Hi. All right, later, guys. Hi, this is Renee Sylvia, 88, DC Legends moderator. Thank you for listening to this episode of WROL Broadcast. If you liked the show, please help them out by becoming a Patreon and earn special rewards. Just go to patreon.com slash WROL Broadcast. Please don't subject us to the creepy ogre news voice.